long as they don't charge people for what is actually something they need. Right. Um, okay, I have one question that's maybe a bit boring to you, but it's probably interesting to us. Uh, about the part of the, 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 the legal case and all the problems with the American companies, did anyone ever go after you personally, or was everything kept professional? Like, for example, like, do you have a travel ban in the U.S. or something? I don't have a travel ban in the U.S., but uh, funny story. Uh, Christopher starts laughing, he's heard this before. But uh, we have very good connections with media people, and uh, a journalist was invited to the White House representatives in Sweden, the American uh, embassy. They essentially wanted to ask him uh, if he knew that we were coming to the U.S. or something like that, and uh, if he could tell us, uh, tell them that we were going there and so forth. Essentially, trying to make him tell us that if you go to the U.S., we would probably sue you, and uh, if you're sued, we can probably find a reason to hold you there. Um, so no, we don't go to the U.S. Uh, officially, at least. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, but uh, everything has been personal since we never had a company that owned a pirate bay. Never been uh, formal, uh, which has been a big problem for the, the ones investigating the case because there is no single entity you can touch. It, everything is based on, like most things on the internet, it's based on friendship and it's based on you know trust. So there's no need for a company. It's never been a profit uh, interest in the part way. It's never made a profit, uh, which is good because you know that changes things. Theater is still at the, the, the level where it's, uh, everything is played with numbers and we don't know where it's going to end up. The hope is, of course, that people like Gunny could make a lot of money from, from releasing things for free. Theater is not going to have a lock-in feature, we're not going to lock in people that you have to flatter something in order to get something. It's always going to be based on the idea that you've got something and you like it. It's log-based. And uh, we hope that in the future you could actually go to a gallery and find a painting you like and flatter it. They will get some money, and if enough people will actually put money in the system, there will be a revenue stream, which is quite important. Uh, but if it ends up just being for bloggers to actually get paid, that would be fine as well. So we have a hope, and everything is everything is okay, even if it fails miserably, and we have no money left, and they take the computers from the office. We're fine with that as well, as long as it's fun. <laughs> so will I be able to? Hopefully not. Uh, I hope the pirate bay will be shut down quite soon because there is no need for it. Uh, the best thing would be if someone else started something much smarter and more efficient and better and more decentralized and all of that. Uh, my hope is that the pirate bay is going to die soon just because of that. And uh, yeah, so hopefully the answer is no. And I think uh, that's one of the few things that the record and the movie companies agree with, agrees with me. <laughs> Come goals. <laughs>
there's no incentive for Spotify uh, to let artists directly contact Spotify and have connections because they just can say you have to go through the record companies because that's our deal with them. Uh, so they're essentially just moving the power from being the distribution uh, of making CDs and selling them to the stores to being, you know, we own the only big player in the market and if you want your music out there you have to go through us and we decide the price. So it's just shifting where the power is to them again. To follow up on that, is social payment uh, a solution for the future? Because if we take it to the enterprise once more, if you should not be dependent on these nasty business angels or, or venture capitalists, perhaps you want to, to fund your ideas by social payments. What's your idea, Peter? Well, I think it's good, but also Flatter would be a problem at that time, because Flatter would be a middleman, which would be probably, if it's successful, will have the same problem as Spotify. So I would be careful as well. Um, but uh, distributed method of getting payment is always much more safe than just having one. So, yes. Uh, one last question here from uh, from the book. The crew sitting here now is a lot of entrepreneurs now that are using the weekend for uh, putting together ideas and, and building businesses around that. What do you see as their biggest hurdles now? trust the person, don't work with him. That's the best way to solve it. Uh, and uh, be prepared to lose faith in mankind and regain it. Don't overthink the legal issues. Try to do what you're interested in. Find someone else who does the things you're not good at. That would be my suggestion. And uh, don't work too much is also a suggestion. So I don't really don't like that people come working all over the weekend. Uh, because I'm very much for the four, four hour work uh, work week, you know, I think people could work really good in four hours, maybe maybe not four hours a week, maybe four hours every other week. No, but uh, <laughs> work less because you're actually going to be able to work much much better at that time of work. But you are misinterpreted this. This is 54 hours of fun, not work. Uh, have we any remaining questions from the audience? So uh, then I it's your choice now because at 7 o'clock we will pitch our ideas and uh, after the next question and some fresh air we will tell you about the setup. But you have a choice if you want to trust each other tonight and over the weekend. And we encourage that you trust each other and share a lot of ideas because if you're not sharing your ideas we will not have the dynamics of having a, a very good fun weekend. Okay, so uh, after a next lecture and some fresh air, we will invite Mike to tell us about the pitch and so on. Thank you very much, Peter. And yes. Christopher.